Well, the controversy surrounding the unveiling of Nigeria's proposed national carrier, national, Nigeria Air, is still generating reactions. In this report, TVC News, Ayomide Ajegwe takes a look at the issues with opinions from experts on this issue. To Nigerians, having a national carrier is long overdue. And when news of Nigerian air hit the airwave, it became an instant subject of interest in what was a huge twist, however. Days after the much celebrated unveiling, revelations emerged from the National Assembly and the aviation sector that the process was shrouded in secrecy, shoddy, and capable of tarnishing the image of Nigeria before the international community. Around the ownership of the Nigerian air, I think the government should have been a little bit more transparent with how you know, shares or equity stakes in that particular entity was gotten. One interesting aspect of this controversy is the use of words launch and unveil, creating endless debate about what went down from the office of the former Minister of Aviation, Adi Sirica. Everybody was expecting them to launch as promised. Everybody was doing how they wanted to beat, how this was going to make, make it be eight wonder of the world for an airline that doesn't have certification, that doesn't have an AOC, that doesn't have an aircraft, that doesn't have staff or have the website or booking position and you wanted to launch. So I think the very first thing the president has to do is look at the contracts that have been entered into. Have they been signed? What were the conditions in them? What would be the consequence of cancelling these contracts to the country? Regardless of what they are, one has to weigh that weigh, weigh that against the challenges that are presented by the nature of the transaction into what we've entered into. Over time, I have disagreed with the, current, the former minister's approach, which was we cannot have an airline and call it Nigeria Air designated the national carrier and it be foreign owned. Although the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has summoned R.D. Sirica to appear before it over the project, which report says had gupped 3 billion. Other sources insisted that 80 billion euro was expended on the project. The worry here is who should provide these answers? 85, 85 billion is, is being banded. The other has just spent just below 3 billion euro. Whether they, when they spend one billion or even half, half, half a million. All, all, all it's, a, it's a public fund and the public fund must be accounted for. I think that process needs to be unbundled. Uh, a lot more transparency uh, needs to happen around how uh, the equity stakes were acquired, the, what the bidding process was. And if there's a need for repeat that process, I, I think that needs to be done so that everybody is carried along from, from the start. And at the end of the day, Nigeria gets value for money. Nigeria gets a, a carrier that every citizen of the country can be proud of. With the administration of President Bolamed Tinubu eating the ground running, coupled with the suspension of the CBN governor and the EFCC chairman, Nigerians are hoping that the president will bury such light into the aviation sector and uncover the rot in the system. Ayobidea JB, TVC News, Lagos.